What if I told you that there is an invisible cosmic magnet 150 to 250 million light years away that is pulling our entire galaxy and many others towards a single patch of space at 2 million kilometers per hour? Would you believe me? You should, because it's true. But where are we racing off to and why? Astronomers ominously named this magnet the Great Attractor. It's one of the biggest mysteries of the universe, and today we'll explore what it might be, how we found it, and why it's got the cosmic neighborhood so intrigued. So, from what we know so far, what is the Great Attractor? In simple terms, it's a region of immense gravity in intergalactic space, essentially the gravitational center of our local cosmic neighborhood. Around it, galaxies are tugged by its gravity, deviating from their expected position. Scientists estimate the Great Attractor has a mass on the order of 10 to the power of 16 suns, an almost unfathomable concentration of matter. This monster is also hiding from us. It lies in the direction of the constellations Centaurus and Norma, right behind the dense plain of our Milky Way. That part of the sky is veiled by gas and dust, humorously nicknamed the Zone of Avoidance because early sky surveys avoided it. You can't see very much visible light through our galactic plane. As a result, the Great Attractor has been playing cosmic hide-and-seek with astronomers for decades. Before we ever even saw anything there, we felt the Great Attractor's pull. Back in the 1970s and 80s, astronomers mapping galactic motions noticed something strange. Our Milky Way and hundreds of other galaxies weren't just calmly riding the expansion of the universe. They had peculiar velocities, all pointing towards the same region. In other words, these galaxies were deviating from the universal expansion, being drawn towards a specific location. By 1986, researchers pinned down the direction of this effect to the Centaurus normal region, and they realized some huge mass must be lurking. In 1987, astronomer Alan Dressler famously dubbed it the Great Attractor. The name evokes an almost cartoonish image of a giant cosmic vacuum sucking up galaxies, and while that's a playful exaggeration, it captures the excitement of the discovery. Finally, we had a clue that something big was out there, even if we couldn't see it just yet. Unmasking the Great Attractor was a bit like trying to spot a lighthouse through fog. We had to use the light that could penetrate the fog. Visible light telescopes, the standard, were mostly blind to that region, but thankfully X-ray and infrared observatories could peek through the dust. By the 1990s, these techniques revealed a major hull, a massive cluster of galaxies in that hidden zone now known as the Norma Cluster. This cluster, about 200 million light years away, is packed with old, large galaxies, mainly in the process of colliding and merging, and they radiate X-rays. Could we have found the prime suspect for the Great Attractor's identity? Not quite yet. Solving one mystery opened up another. Even with the Norma Cluster's huge mass accounted for, it wasn't enough to explain all the gravitational pull that we observed. The galaxies, including ourselves, were moving faster and farther than the Norma Cluster alone could pull. This hinted that the Great Attractor might just be part of a larger gravitational structure. It's as if we found a chunk of the iceberg, but the full picture was still out of sight. In 2014, scientists led by Brent Tully made a breakthrough in seeing this big picture. They redefined our local supercluster as part of an even larger entity they named Laniakea, meaning immense heaven in Hawaiian. In this new picture, the Great Attractor is the focal point of La Niatea, like the bottom of a giant cosmic basin where hundreds of thousands of galaxies, including our Milky Way, are flowing inward. Think of La Niatea as our galactic city, and the Great Attractor is downtown, and us and all the other galaxies are like on our morning to meet there. But remember that other missing mass? It turns out our cosmic neighborhood has an even bigger bully farther down the street. Beyond the Great Attractor, about 600 million light years away, lies the Shapley Supercluster, the largest concentration of galaxies in our part of the universe. Shapley contains over 8,000 galaxies and boasts a mass of around 10 million billion suns, and astronomers found that even the Great Attractor itself appears to be moving towards this Shapley concentration. So, the narrative evolved. Initially, the Grand Tractor was the prime suspect dragging us around, and now it looks more like middle management, executing gravitational orders from the real boss, the Shapley Supercluster, which is farther away. Just when we thought the tale was all about things pulling us in, scientists found a twist. There's also something pushing us away. In 2017, researchers mapping the 3D flow of galaxies revealed that our Milky Way's motion isn't due to a one-sided pull alone. 
they identified a huge underdense region, essentially a gigantic cosmic void on the opposite side of us from the Great Attractor. Because this void has far less matter, it exerts a kind of gravitational repulsion. The team that dubbed this emptiness the Dipole Repeller because it lies roughly opposite the dense Shapley Attractor in the sky. To describe it poetically, we have a pull from one side and a push from the other, a story of love and hate, attraction and repulsion. The Milky Way is caught in a cosmic tug of war. Shapley's gravity and the Grand Attractor pulls us forward, while a comparably strong push from a vast void from behind shoves up. This push-pull dynamic neatly explains both the direction of our motion and its magnitude, something a single attractor wasn't fully able to do. So what exactly is this repeller? It's likely just an extremely large, empty patch of space, hundreds of millions of light-years across, with far fewer galaxies than average. In the universe's grand design, matter flows away from voids towards denser areas. So as the Shapley supercluster tugs us in, the void behind us effectively propels us out of its emptiness. It's not anti-gravity or any new physics, just the flip side of gravity in a lumpy unit. Still, it's wild to think that nothingness is as influential as overwhelming present in determining our galaxy's fate. Push and pull are equally important movers on this grand scale. The Great Attractor started out as a spooky unknown, a gravity monster, hiding behind the Milky Way, beckoning. Decades of detective work have been mystified it somewhat, but we know it's not a lone supermassive black hole or sci-fi wormhole or anything exotic, but rather a gravity hotspot produced by a large concentration of galaxy in our long Achaea supercluster's core. In fact, it's a pretty normal yet gargantuan arrangement of matter, clusters, filaments, and walls of galaxies, just in a place that's very hard for us to observe. The Great Attractor's gravity dominates our region of the universe, but it's also not the end of the story. It forms part of a continuum of structures from our local to the Virgo Cluster into Laniakea, onward to the titanic Shapley Shipper Cluster, all embedded together in the cosmic web. Our galaxy's journey is like a boat on a very choppy cosmic sea, being tugged by unseen currents and pushed by unseen voids. One thing is for certain. The mysteries of the Great Attractor have made us realize how interconnected our universe really is. Our Milky Way isn't drifting aimlessly. It's part of a grand gravitational dance, pulled and pushed by massive structures millions of light years away. We are merely voyagers on a journey toward the Great Attractor, a trip that will take us billions of years. The Great Attractor is a reminder that there is so much more beyond what we can see, hidden worlds and forces shaping our fate from the shadows. And as our instruments and understanding continue to improve, we will continue shining a light into that darkness, unraveling the beautiful tapestry of our universe in the large scale mystery. Thank you very much for one. If you enjoyed this journey into the unknown, please like and subscribe for more cosmic adventures. And let us know in the comments, what do you think lies at the heart of the great chapter?